Welcome to the Fantasy Think. I'm Jared Gordon Mansion. Today, we are going to talk about this book, American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. And uh, let me tell you, right off the bat, <laughs> these are just my thoughts. So I could get a little called out on this one, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe people agree with me. Um, I never truly thought. I would not finish a book due to the fact that I despise it as much as I do this one. <laughs> so, uh, so first some facts. Uh, what this book is? This story is told in first person by the alleged psycho. Um, the narrative is presented in this rambling style, kind of akin to stream of consciousness. The author is uh, very skilled at portraying this character's thoughts as the storyteller with a subtle twisted logic that encompasses extreme privilege and egotism and narcissism uh the narrator's skewed insular view of reality throws him into a world of fantasy where he can get away with literal murder the idea of a rich guy who thinks the world belongs to him as a main character isn't new but Ellis's really deep dive into the psyche of a deeply disturbed person may be, may be a fresh take on it, at least to me it was. Um, or, and this was written back in 1990, I believe. It came out in 90. Uh, the problem, though, is I just didn't care. Uh, this is the first book I've bothered not to finish since I can remember reading for fun uh, or even school. Um, and I powered through some boring stuff. I've read uh, <laughs> I've read Moby Dick, The Great Gatsby, philosophy books, science books, the Quran, the fourth edition Dungeon Master's Guide, to name just a few. <laughs> but not since getting uh, halfway through the Bible have I been so agitated that I had to throw the book down and say, enough, I am done. And that was a long time ago. Uh, so I made it as far as page, um, 260 out of 399. So I gave it a good shot. And then I read the last couple of chapters just to see if there was something that I uh, kind of might've missed out on or something that didn't make sense or yeah, no, I'm good. Don't really care. The constant listing of expensive clothing, fancy dinners, state of the art gadgets, etc etc it was consistently annoying and became the points of where i would do some speed reading uh for all i care it could have been a list of garbage or chores it it was just blah it, it i see what he was trying to do but and it was through the character but it just was annoying and then there was the barrage, barrage of misogyny that was so tiresome. And it was displayed as like a status symbol of sorts. As if the worse you treated women, the more they wanted you, which was, which is, was maybe, maybe that was in his head as part of the fantasy. Who knows? Uh, but it was portrayed as normal uh, for the lifestyle they were living. Uh, the pedantic, Name dropping was yawn inducing. I got sick of it. Is there a twist to this book? Maybe. Uh, I'm not going to give anything away in case this is something you'd like, but I can tell you one thing I didn't care if there was a twist. Um, there were a couple essay chapters, like essay chapters, on different musical acts during this time period. Uh, the two that stood out were um, Genesis and Whitney Houston. Uh, and they was these were actually in depth analyses of their respective bodies of work that you know were out at the time, and they were really well done, uh, which made them seem jarring to the rest of the shallowness of the main character, and felt as if it was just Ellis writing these essays instead of the main character's thoughts. Uh, and I didn't a hundred percent agree with these essays on the music, but they were very well thought out. And um, I would have preferred a book on musical acts of the 1980s in this manner. Regardless, um, if I owned this book, if this was mine, I would throw it in the trash, not wanting anyone else to happen upon it by accident. 
Unfortunately, I borrowed it from the library and have to give it back. And I have never been so glad to do so. Uh, so I apologize to those who are watching, reading this, and who might have enjoyed this book. Uh, some of you may be telling me I just didn't get it. But I think I did, really. Uh, I think Ellis very much succeeded at what he was trying to do here. Like I said, he's a very skilled writer. And I may even check out something else he has written that isn't so volatile. Um, so I'm pretty sure I got it. I got the point. But I just don't care. Uh, so I hope that this little uh, bit of negativity didn't didn't, uh, didn't put you off or anything. Hey, it's got to happen sometime, right? I can't, I, I can't like everything. <laughs> All right. And with that said... Please, unlike these people, be good to each other. Thank you.